Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem as the final battle has started, our final chapter at the very least, with the chapter of light. Ellawood has taken care of the first unit though, found it a kind of bit of a struggle, let's put it that way, in terms of the damage he's taken, so we'll start with a quick heal up here. Get Ellawood ready, as we saw Durandal's crit animation, its super damage came in. We don't want to use it too much though, because this is a weapon designed for taking down dragons in the final boss. Don't really want to use it for that bit. Anyway, Rebecca got herself the Rhineflex from that, even though we're trying not to use her at this point in time. People are trying to move in and attack us. I wonder if they will stay away, but this guy has a spell called Chispensed here. Apart from that, what do you have, Kenneth? You have Loose, whatever that is. Right, so lots of people are willing to drop lots of things. These ones aren't going to be dropped, however, but we do need to take this healer down. That's for sure, but we only want to send someone roughly within range to be able to take him down, so will Lindus take this guy down with one hit? And to be honest, she will, so Hector, I think this is one for you, if anything. Take this foe down for me. We've got to watch out for the other side, but one silver axe blow will do the job. Hector with a strong weapon equipped gets himself a ton of experience. Levels up. So, reaches his maximum level, strength, speed, and luck last gained. Our first lord to become level 20 then. Lindis was close, but just couldn't reach it in time. Anything cap there? One thing was cap, was it? Just the skill, it seems. Well, the strength's pretty high. So we'll go with that. Right, no one can reach me this turn. I'm wondering if they will not move unless we do decide to come out. So with that said, we need sword guys to face these berserkers, nice dodgy types, so Lindis, Matthew, get to here I think. Then we've got our backline casters and we've got to watch out for anyone that might come out of the next room because it seems on each turn another room is open. Okay, there's a room down the bottom as well we've got to watch out for, so that's going to be interesting. Niels, get up there. Priscilla, you can go as well because you're always safe. Well, let's end this turn and see how the next turn pans out. Okay, they're moving towards me. Of course, some of them actually have bows as well, so I've got to watch out for that. The next room's opened, and that looks like a room for Nino to get in and wreck. Right, this guy has a silver axe, a silver lance. This guy has the rex. Hasta. Darren. Okay. So first of all, let's try and weaken them from range, or we're not really going to get to from here. We could always use, like, long-range spells, of course. But our real issue here is to get these guys on this side. So you've got a Basilikos equipped. Probably need to go in with an Axe guy to claim that. At the moment though, Hector, you're very much my only Axe guy. What can I trade that with? Maybe the Worm Slayer? I do not know. Hmm. Don't know if there'll be any knights left like that, but still. Right, this guy has a zero crit chance on me, in fact I can double him, but he does a whole whopping 41 damage! So basically what we've learned from that is either I need a higher defense, or I kind of need to be attacking this guy from here. Out of the range of the mainstay of their attacks, so we've got people for that of course. We have spellcasters, so let's employ them. Nino? Elfire doesn't double, Fire does, but... We're not going to do so much damage there, but we need to pour some damage on. And we need to trap the last one within. That's more or less what's going on here. So Thunder will hit once for 16 damage. As we talk, do we? Alright, we never know when we might get a crit and have to throw something away. But really what we want for the final hit here is to get you in and finish him off. But, man... The attack chance here is not so great. Armads, though, however, is probably the nearest we've got as to sorting this. So in you go, Nino. You'll want to take the other side in a minute, mind you, but for now, double fire. See if you get a critical. No one can talk to me. Father! Father! Bit mean to have them fighting. I... I'll end this. I'm sorry. To be honest... If your parent, adopted or not, was in a state like this, this is the best thing you can do, Nino, I'm afraid. So, we started on that row. Of course, we still have Athos that we could use to deal some interesting damage. Let's move up Rebecca apart from that, because she's going to need to get near. 
Ellawood as well. Let's get him into position. Right, so now we have the option to get him with swords, or to be honest, we could power one person up again. And put him in the right kind of status, though we do need to heal up Priscilla a little, that's for sure. And then we'll leave someone with extreme dodging potency ready to fight the one behind after taking care of this. Alright, so one more thunder comes down, will it crit? Nope. Well, that leaves him on a fairly good HP value to be taken down by Hector, though, of course, the experience would be somewhat wasted. Alright, anyone else could just get in there and nip in and take all that lovely experience? Doesn't really seem it at this point, does it? No one's really got the weapon triangle win. So just do it. Alright, to be honest, though, we could probably go in with you and take it, and we could trade off a worse weapon, so let's do it. Go on, then, Heath. You might get hit for a ton of damage though, but I was expecting you to dodge. Weapon triangle win. Heath takes out the opposition. And smiles in the end, it looks like. Alright then, Heath gained that lovely experience. Seems the bosses don't give so much and the promoted units around them give a little bit more. But strength and speed gain there for our wife and lord. Alright then, we've got the Basilicos. And we will get rid of... A spear's nice, it tacks from range, but at this point in time... It is the least charge, it is the least useful. Dropped indeed. Of course, you cannot use that weapon. We're going to have to trade it over at some point. Still, right. So just you left, is it? Our mads can take you down, funnily enough. What about you, Matthew? Can you finish this guy? In fact, you might be able to with something like the killing edge equip. This guy can't really do anything to you. I think go for it, sir. Especially if you're going to crit. Oh, one HP! And then we get the instant kill of an assassin on the second attack. So not only did we get second attack critical, we got an assassination as well. He would have insta-died apart from it was rubbish. Right, nice stat gains there for the Matthew though, however. So that's another room cleared. We have these guys advancing. Well, they won't advance at too fast a speed, will they? Right, so basically let's keep our army still quite in check and near each other. I've given you a heal, haven't I, sir? I've given you a mend. Well, we need to get heals on Priscilla, but we'll get that on next turn. It seems to be going fine at the moment. Two rooms down. And we do know that Nino is able to break in here. Right, what have we got this side? We have ourselves Jim the Assassin, and we have... Oh, that's one nasty spell. Alright, we could fight spell on spell like over here. That's not really going to win us the day, though. What about... A longbow shot or two. I think that is the best thing to do with Lindus here. What if I were to come into range and fight you in that sense? You'd do a fair whack to me, but it looks safe for now. So what we'll do is we'll longbow over here with Lin. And as long as we don't crit, it'll leave her a more manageable HP value and Lin will hit level 20. I wasn't expecting her to get any stats up with the caps that she's got, so we've got ourselves another 20 Lord, but of course that doesn't really give us so much in terms of power. In the meantime, Nino has her targets, that's for sure. Bolting, oh man, you've got a lot of HP on you, sir. Darren, how dare he. Alright, this guy has Silver Axe and Silver Lance, so Weapon Triangle, he can choose a lot of different things. The Axe is the one equipped, so we kind of want to get in there with a sword if we can. We can start this off with a Flux, however, or a Luna, and do a little bit of a whack. Hmm. 19 damage. If Priscilla goes in, she does only 18. It's only you that doubles this one. Alright, so let's get the Elfire over twice. As another boss doesn't exactly appreciate us standing here. Alright, we need to claim that Rex Hasta, but for whom is the real problem? Florina might be the one to go in and get that in the end, I've got to say. Alright. Hmm. How much damage do you do to this guy, Florina? None. You do two with a Brave Lance. The Armor Slayer is there to do a little bit of damage. 
So what if we could do is boost you up with Niels, let you play again, madame. Of course, we've still got the rings there that we can use to add some extra power, but when we need to use them, I'll use them in some senses. Alright, another double elf fire. Will this crit? I knew it would. I didn't want it to, though, if you know what I mean. Right, we have to get rid of something now if we want to claim that Rex Hasta. I was going to get in there with Florina, but it seems all these morphs are quite happy to die. As Nino levels up. Now, you're quite capped as well, so... I was about to say, how much can you really get on a level? Alright, so we claim Rex Hasta, but we don't want to get rid of it. So what do we go for? To be honest, the probably worst term for us now is the bolting. So Rex Hasta's there. Alright, we have other spell casting opportunities now. In fact, enough to easily take this one down. Priscilla takes out another moment of opposition. And that's another room cleared. Level up for Priscilla. She reaches level 17. Gain some extra res there. Alright, people must be getting capped on stuff like that. Like her luck was capped then as well. It's just like, ah, ridiculous. The caps, the caps. Right, we could charge in here with Ellawood and face Germ and Thingy, but Germ's an assassin. If he crits, it would be very, very bad for us, that's for sure. However, his crit chance and hit chance is pretty low there, so what we should be looking at. To be honest, you're not that strong, are you, sir? So what we should be looking at is finishing off you in one hit if we could. Jurando will do it. In fact, Jurando will, but do we want to keep using its charges? Let's just get the enemy out of our way, though that would, of course, mean that there's a weapon there or an item that we can grab as well. Right, what's your overall attack range? We know that Lindis can take the hit, but we need an item off our menu here to be able to grab the next one. So what have you got, sir? Luna, Nosferatu, Mend, Oriola. Pretty much everyone's carrying something kind of nice at the moment. Oh, wait a second, I could just trade it for the... Just drop the bow. Drop the bow works fine. Right, should we try to double or do something else? No, let's go for the one-hit KO. Safer after all. Duran will go! One hit to win it. And another person dispatched of who looks quite happy for it. As Ella would. Gains another level. Our last promote lord gets himself some extra strength with that speed. Nice. That's always going to do well on Durandal there. We've got ourselves Excalibur in the meantime with a still blow going away. Still, still blow. All right. We could have got a... Oh, okay. This, this guy won't give me a ruined sword, so that's not too bad. As long as we're out of range, it seems that Ella will end up fighting him. So now we've got to advance towards these two. Right. Can I stick in... Well, let's, first of all, let's go for the heal over here. That means Priscilla's nice and safe. We know where the next room will open up is, so all we can really do is advance towards it. We'll leave Ellawood in the back there. He's fine. He's safe. He'll face off what he can. And get to the outer edge of the spellcast range of these two. Which isn't actually that far to go. Getting closer to them is going to be a bit of a bother for us. We might want to spell tank them in some way. Florina, get over here. And here we go with the enemy attack. Right, so the rune sword can be a magic one from range, can it? It's range Nosferatu! Well, that's an interesting attack you have there, sir, with the rune sword. You're going to take longer than I would have thought. As the last enemies come out, it seems, what we got here. We've got Lloyd, a swordmaster with a regal blade. And we've got ourselves minus a hero here with a brave sword and a tomahawk. That brave sword is going to be problematic. I need to nuke that guy. Right. Swordmaster's over there. Let's see if they come to us or we have to go to them. Now this guy's not exactly that much of a trouble for us, that's for sure. We could short spear him down, but to be honest, we're probably just off best chipping him away bit by bit. So the silver sword is our best bet at the moment. And you just gotta hope for a critical along with that. But this guy's just gonna keep restoring HP as well. And he restores the whole lot of the HP, but there you go, a nice critical there. 
will help us out quite a bit in dispatching him. Alright, in the meantime, we could always get psychic healing over there. And I say leave it to see if this guy comes for us or not. They do. Both of them. Alright, so we lost some more HP there, but Elowood is able to probably chop him down next time. He'll have 22 HP after he steals some, which will be taken down by the Silver Sword. Yeah, not 22 HP if you count the fact that I'd already whacked him a bit. It was just me counting, will my double attack beat his double attack, and it will. Farewell to you, sir, as Elowood levels up once again. Right then. We gain ourselves luck, resin HP, one level left for that, Lord. Nowhere near capping it. Oh, you capped his speed! Really? At one point in time, I thought he was doomed for speed. And then he capped it! Randomly out of the blue! Right, now Rebecca's probably going to have to start coming in here now and trying to deal damage. The reason for that is we've got a bit too much in the way of bother. So we can get a double up here. That'll be brilliant. Apart from that, how far do you travel? Right, that's fine. So if we go to here and use Rhineflake, and then we get someone like Nino in to take out a brother. Yes, it sounds very horrible. If she can, that is. We can always double up with Niels, after all, as well. Kanas, how do you do? In fact, you find it hard to hit, but Luna hits quite hard. I think, first of all, we'll just attack with a Rhineflake. You might even crit, you never know. We need to be well out of range of that brave sword, don't we? Alright, so in you go, sir. That Luna will come down. Will you crit? Now would have been the ample time to. That leaves him on 1 HP. Kanas has done his duty there. He's assisted. Now I want to know what these guys' spells do. So we've got ourselves Oriola here, and we've got ourselves Four Blaze. Let's try out this one first of all and knock down some of his HP. It's a super legendary weapon! As it nukes with crazy animation! Right then, so we've got that guy down some HP. Fire and elf fire don't seem to do much here. To be honest, I think you're going to have to knock down your brother in the end, I'm afraid. Sorry about this. Right then, elf fire from that range. Well, fire will do to take down the 1 HP and will definitely hit. Sorry. Minus, I'll see you again. I'm sure you're angry, but please be my friend again. Oh, you're even going to critical, are you, with free damage? Well, you don't need to, that's for sure. That's adding insult to injury. But he seems happy about it. He was taking out all the family members at this point. Alright, so now we just have you left. We could even fit up Nino for a battle there as well. But first of all, let's see what else is going on. Right, so of course this would be axe versus sword. Not exactly the best option for us. We can sword versus sword, but this guy doubles against Hector no matter what. I guess that's part and parcel of being a sword master, I've got to say. Right, we can get in with another spell here. Do 11 damage. Someone like Florina could get in and do some damage as well, because with lances on top of that, we can double back, that's for sure. But you would go down if you were hit, and this is really the problem. Right then, javelin attack. We can do at least 10 damage from here. Weed them down a little bit as Kenneth stays in the back lines. Very much so. Right, Lindis can move up. That'll be fine. Matthew can't move in. You can, Sir Heath, and you can get another javelin shot on him. Right, that'll work. Chip, chip, chip away. And with that comes, I say, the final move for you. We should be nicely out of range for everyone. As if unless anything bad happens on the next turn. As Nino's powered up to fight once again, as you may guess what I'm doing here. Dispatch your family. 
Right, in fact you can just about with the final L fire, but I forgot that you got a weapon here for me to claim. Ah, uh, Lloyd, no! Oh. Why does this have to happen again? I'm sorry, I feel really mean for taking her through these battles now, but it's kind of like you've got to look at it the other way as well. You're, you're putting your family to rest after they were defeated by the enemy. They're being used, their geysers, it's not a good thing. You can take solace in that. Alright, one HP gain for Nino there. As yet another troop goes down and we get ourselves the Regal Blade, but what do we send back? We've got the Rex Hasta, we've got the heal here. We just send back the Stand of Fire because it's not doing too much against the Delphire at the moment, so drop, drop, drop we will. And with that, we end up with a fairly big party all scattered out, wondering what comes from that way. Well, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Hector to try and cover a bit more of, well, Mr. Certain Someone here, and join up the rest of our troops along the main path. Apart from that, let the enemy turn play out to find out what we've got to deal with next. Okay, nothing. We've just got to defeat the enemies in the final room, so which we'll continue on to next episode. It's just Kenneth and a singular morph left. We've defeated everyone up the path and got ourselves a fair few weapons picked up due to it. See you next time for more. As we take these down and aim to defeat Nergal as we move Elowood up from Major Bax. He needs to move forward. He needs to move forward indeed. In fact, he needs to be healed up as well. Problems, problems. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.